The Biden administration says parents and caregivers can expect to find more baby formula on store shelves as early as this week. Naomi Ruckham has the latest on efforts to alleviate the nationwide infant formula shortage. The Air Force cargo plane carried 39 tons of formula, enough to fill more than half a million bottles. The specialty formula for babies with allergies to cow's milk was manufactured in a Nestle plant in Switzerland. This particular shipment is going to be distributed immediately to hospitals and clinics uh, around the country. So it's just a matter of getting it to the distribution center, getting the distribution center to put it in a truck. The truck is going to deliver it. So, I, you know, we're going to be seeing deliveries made in a matter of days. The Biden administration says a second flight with formula is scheduled to leave Germany soon and will be trucked to Pennsylvania when it arrives in the U.S. Kim Inatra is hoping the overseas shipments will help her. The Texas mother is on her last can of formula for five-month-old Sienna. I haven't seen any on the shelves. I have a cousin who works for Walgreens, and he hasn't seen this one come in in weeks. She started introducing Sienna to solid foods early. Typically would have waited until six months, like the pediatrician's advice. Um, you know, when they're able to sit up a little more independently. The critical shortage follows the February closure of the nation's largest domestic formula manufacturing plant due to safety issues. Regulators and Abbott Nutrition hope to reopen the Michigan plant next week, but it may take two months before that formula arrives in stores. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.